Astronomers have spotted something surprising outside of our solar system, and they're calling it a forbidden planet. Researchers discover the forbidden planet. An exoplanet has been found in a faraway space, and to put it simply, it's a bit of an oddity. Picture this, a planet teetering on the brink of annihilation, narrowly escaping a fiery demise at the hands of a dying star. We're talking about a real-life forbidden planet that wasn't supposed to exist. Now meet Hala, the rebel of the cosmic neighborhood. Hala, a giant exoplanet, boldly defies the odds, orbiting so close to its red giant star, Bektu, that it should have been toast. I mean, seriously, who survives cozying up to a star in its red giant phase? Hala does, that's who. So, how did we stumble upon this cosmic maverick? NASA's Transiting Survey Satellite, or TESS, played celestial detective, keeping a watchful eye on Baked Dew for a whole year. From July 2019 to June 2020, and then again from June 2021 to June 2022, TESS caught a celestial wobble. The intergalactic equivalent of a planet doing a happy dance around its star. What was causing this cosmic commotion? None other than our rebellious friend, Hala. Enter our stargazing heroes, the astronomers. With eyes glued to their cosmic screens, they made an out-of-this-world discovery. Imagine the scene. Eight Ursa Minoris B, also known as Hala, casually hanging out just 46 million miles away from Bektu. To put that into perspective, it's like standing halfway between Earth and the Sun, but with a front-row seat to the cosmic drama. Now, why is this such a big deal? Well, the prevailing cosmic wisdom suggests that planets wouldn't survive the grand finale of their stellar hosts turning into red giants. But Hala proved them wrong. It's the cosmic rebel that not only survived but thrived in the face of imminent destruction. And here comes the science part. Mark Hahn, the lead astronomer from the University of Hawaii, spilled the cosmic tea. In an email to space.com, he revealed, This is the first system that we know of in which a planet survives so closely around a star, burning helium in its core. Imagine a star having a midlife crisis, expanding into a red giant, and Hala just casually shrugging it off like, Nah, I'm good. So, what does this mean for our understanding of the cosmos? Well, it turns out that death by star is not the final chapter for all close planets. In fact, Hala's existence challenges our cosmic playbook, proving that planets can defy the odds and dance through cosmic chaos. In essence, we've got ourselves a real-life forbidden planet. A celestial underdog that laughed in the face of cosmic destruction and said, Not today. I mean, who knew planets could be this savage? Now, let's set the stage. In about 5 billion years, our sun, the cosmic powerhouse, is gonna run out of hydrogen in its core. That's the fuel for the nuclear fusion party that keeps it from collapsing under its own gravity. As the sun's core decides to throw in the towel, the outer layers decide to go rogue, expanding outwards and engulfing the inner planets, including our lovely Earth. Dramatic, right? But wait, there's more. Enter Bektu, a star doing its own thing, currently rocking a helium fusion party at its core. Scientists predicted it would swell out to a whopping 65 million miles wide during its red giant phase. That's like the sun on steroids. Now imagine a planet orbiting at just 46 million miles away, completing a full loop in a mere 94 Earth days. So the brainiacs behind the telescopes scratched their heads and asked, How on Earth, or, well, in space, can a planet survive this stellar turmoil? Mark Hahn, the stargazing wizard from the University of Hawaii, spilled the cosmic beans, saying, the continued existence of this planet implies a variety of pathways over which planets can survive the volatile evolution of their host stars. Now, surviving death by a red giant is no small feat. We've heard about objects doing it before, but usually, they're these funky brown dwarfs. Not quite stars, not quite planets, just cosmic misfits. But here's where it gets wild. Hala, our rebel, is more massive than any planet in our solar system. It's like it's saying, I'm not just surviving, I'm thriving. 
Now, the researchers ruled out the idea that Halla formed far away and then casually strolled into its current orbit. Why? Because the helium-burning phase of stars like Bekdu is like a fleeting cosmic rave, lasting just around 100 million years. In the grand scheme of the universe, that's the blink of an eye. And now, cue the lead astronomer Mark Hahn with a mic drop moment. What's surprising is that the continued existence of this planet implies a variety of pathways over which planets can survive the volatile evolution of their host stars, which basically means the universe is full of surprises, and Halla is the intergalactic poster child for unpredictability. Now, let's talk numbers. Billions of years, that's the timeline for Halla to boldly move into position after its star, Baekdu, decided to go red giant. Imagine a planet on a journey, settling into a near-perfect orbit circle, doing its own thing in the vastness of space. It's like the ultimate game of celestial musical chairs. But wait, there's another twist in this cosmic tale. What if something altered the destiny of Bekdu? Enter the White Dwarf Binary Partner. These stellar remnants are born after the Red Giant phase, and here's the kicker. They might just be the cosmic disruptors we're looking for. Imagine a stellar merger, a celestial tango between Bekdu and a white dwarf, changing the game and maybe saving Hala from its fiery fate. Now, white dwarfs and proto-red giants merging have been thought to ignite helium, pulling the emergency brake on the red giant's expansion. If this happened with Bekdu, it means the red giant's outer edge would never have reached Hala. It's like the universe saying, hold on, not so fast. But, and here's the cosmic catch, it's just a temporary reprieve. Once the helium party is over, Bekdu is going to swell out again. And here's where the space detectives come in. The astronomers on the case noticed something peculiar about Bekdu. The outer layers are swimming in lithium, which is a telltale sign of a white dwarf slash red giant merger. It's like finding a cosmic clue that supports the wild theory. Bekdu might have had a stellar partner in crime, altering its fate and giving Hala a fighting chance. Now let's decode the cosmic language. Mark Hahn, the lead astronomer from the University of Hawaii, breaks it down for us. What's surprising is that the continued existence of this planet implies a variety of pathways over which planets can survive the volatile evolution of their host stars. So picture this, Bikdu, a star on the brink of its red giant phase, a cosmic transformation that usually spells doom for any planet in its orbit. Enter Hala, a planet snuggling up way too close to Bikdu, surviving where it really shouldn't. How on Earth, or rather in space, did this happen? Well, buckle up, space cadets, because the cosmic plot thickens. One theory suggests Hala might be a second-generation planet a cosmic love child born from material siphoned off the dying star. Imagine a gravitational tug of war between two stars merging, pulling out stellar material and creating a cosmic disk. This disk, akin to the ones around baby stars, could have birthed Hala against all odds. It's like the universe's way of saying, surprise, I've got a few tricks up my sleeve. Lead astronomer Mark Hahn breaks it down for us. The fact that planets are appearing where we really don't expect them to show up is telling us that planet formation may be surprisingly resilient. Hala's existence is a cosmic curveball, challenging our understanding of how planets come to be. It's like the universe throwing a little wink at our textbooks. Now, whether Hala was a stowaway from the red giant transformation or a second-gen rebel, one thing's for sure. This planet has defied the odds and set up shop right next to its fiery host. Talk about a cosmic rebel with a cause. But why does this matter? Well, it's like peeling back the cosmic curtain and revealing that red giants burning helium in their cores can play host to planets in their close vicinity. It's a game changer in our cosmic understanding. This isn't your typical star system evolution. It's a non-traditional dance of planets and stars. Mark Hahn drops another nugget of wisdom. There is marvelous synergy between space and ground telescopes that are now allowing us to study many red giants in great detail, including those known to host close planets. In simpler terms, 
our cosmic detective tools are getting sharper, and we're on a mission to find out if more of these engulfment-escaping planets are out there. Han concludes with a teaser for the cosmic future. We want to know if there are more of these engulfment-escaping surviving planets. It's like a treasure hunt in the vastness of space, searching for more rebels like Hala. Are there more planets out there thumbing their metaphorical noses at impending doom? The cosmos is keeping us on our toes. And that's a wrap. So what do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more.